Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now I've been using the Honor Magic 5 Pro here for close to three months now, so you can think of today's video as sort of a long-term review. And I just want to give you an update on how things are going with Honor's flagship. Is it still running well? Is it receiving enough software updates? How's everything going with this device? Well, let's find out in today's video. Well, I'm going to separate you know, the entire video into four main topics here. We're going to talk a bit about software updates, performance, the cameras and the battery. And of course, oh yeah, one more thing, the signal strength, which is actually quite interesting here. So let's start off first and foremost with that software updates. Now, whenever you get a new phone, you are always concerned about whether it gets enough updates to keep the phone running running at its best performance. And the good news here is that the Honor Magic 5 Pro does actually get a couple of updates. The latest one actually boosted a lot of things, not just in terms of the camera and the performance and the battery life, but more importantly, all about those security patches. So it's currently using the May 2023 security patch. And I think that is quite good because we are currently still in the first or second week of June and we have already gotten last month's security patch. A lot of phones that I still have with me here has not even gotten the April 2023 patch. So it's good to see that Honor is keeping things up to the levels of security. Now moving on to the second point here guys, in terms of the performance, well obviously this phone is running on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 so you can always expect the best performance not just in terms of your day-to-day -day use but also in terms of your gaming. Now the software updates has brought it to a more stable level like previously when I just got a phone for the very first time I noticed that there was a bit of bugs here and there but all those has been cleared out and it's a very stable system now to use on the Honor Magic 5 Pro. Now moving on to the next point here, in terms of the cameras, what kind of updates has been brought onto it? Well, to start off, this camera was actually already a very strong camera and it is actually the phone that I brought with me to Taiwan last week to take a lot of street photography because I just thought it would be fun. So the updates has actually made the pictures coming out from the Magic 5 Pro a little bit more cleaner. The noise has been reduced consistently, whether you are taking pictures during the day or even at night. So this is actually a very solid camera, something that you can count on when you want to grab that very quick shot. So that's just something that I can say about the cameras at the back. Now, what else has been updated? Well, let's talk a bit about battery life because that's also very, very important. Whenever you get a phone like this, you want to ensure that your battery life is always at its strongest. And again, like I said, I've been using the Magic 5 Pro in Taiwan and I was actually using the hotspot a lot the Google Maps just to navigate here and there and the battery life on this phone has actually been very very strong. In fact, I was able to hit a screen on time of about six to seven hours and I think that's super strong. So a YouTuber actually did a very good comparison like a drain test, battery drain test which I will put a link down below so you can check that out. And guess what? The Honor Magic 5 Pro was actually one of the top performing in terms of battery drain. So it's a very strong you know, battery in here and again, a huge shout out to Technic uh, for that. He did a very good uh, comparison there. Um, moving on to my next point, what did I notice here was the signal strength. Now signal strength is actually something that is quite interesting because it's not something that I cover a lot. But even in this particular studio right here, I noticed that using the same SIM cards on the, on the Magic 5 Pro and on my iPhone, I noticed that the signal was definitely much stronger on the Honor Magic 5 Pro. I'm getting consistently four or five full bars of signal on the Honor device, whereas on the iPhone, I'm only getting one or two bars. So it is clearly stronger in terms of signal strength. Now, other than that, just in case you game a lot like myself, so I'm always connected to the Wi-Fi and whenever I plug in my Bluetooth earbuds, I noticed that there was no latency in the audio or even in the game itself, there's no latency whatsoever. It's a very smooth process. And the reason why I'm mentioning this is because on some phones that I've tried, you know, when I'm connected to the Wi-Fi and I use the Bluetooth earbuds, because they are using the same antenna, there is sort of like a delay in the audio or in the game itself. So it's a little bit affected there, but that is not actually affected on the Honor Magic 5 Pro because they have like separate antenna. So it's actually quite interesting when you see this kind of performance in real world use. So those are just the kind of things that I noticed on the Honor Magic 5 Pro over those three months, you know, like better performance, a lot of software updates, especially the security patches, an improved camera, great battery life, and of course, a very strong signal. Now, a lot of people has also been asking me, like, should you get the Honor Magic 5 Pro or the Honor Magic 5? Um, this is actually quite a simple answer here. So both devices, the good news here is that both devices run on the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, so you do not have any difference in terms of performance and power. They both also come with 12 gigabytes of RAM, so a lot of RAM there. And also they both have Google GMS installed. Don't ask me that question again. And last but not least, they also have the same large 5100 mAh battery. So those are the things that are similar. So what's really different then? 
Well, the main thing that's different that I would say here is actually in terms of the cameras at the back. Now, the Magic 5 Pro here has a larger main sensor that means it's able to capture more light in dark situations. It also has an OIS on board. So yes, if you're taking a lot of videos, the Honor Magic 5 Pro is going to be a bit more stable than the Honor Magic 5. Uh, last but not least, the camera has also one difference here and that is in terms of the telephoto lens. So this one here, the Magic 5 Pro can zoom even further than the Honor Magic 5. So that's just in terms of the camera's difference. Now, in terms of the display difference, yes, there's also a couple of differences that you might not notice on first glance. The Honor Magic 5 Pro here has a very slightly larger display. It's also slightly brighter, has a higher resolution, and more importantly, it has that LTPO technology in it that makes it save a little bit more power on its display alone. So that's actually what you really get for the money that you're paying for the Honor Magic 5 Pro. Having said that, who is the Honor Magic 5 for then? Well, I would say that this phone is sort of an underdog in the industry and not a lot of people have actually covered this device, but this is actually a very solid flagship that has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. You can think of it as a flagship on a budget. You still get a great set of cameras at the back and of course a very strong battery life in this very slim form factor that also looks quite cool. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. If you still have any questions on the Honor Magic 5 Pro or the Honor Magic 5, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you are looking to get the Honor Magic 5 series smartphones, I'll leave a couple of links down below. I think Honor is having a promotion where you can actually buy it on installments and if you buy these phones, you might actually get a couple of enriched points if you are in Malaysia. So I'll put in some links to those promotions down below as well. If you want to find out more about that, feel free to click it. With that said, thank you for watching today's video all the way to the end. Don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel if you want to see more content like this and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Stay safe everybody. Bye.